As archaeologists work to uncover the secrets of the past, they face the overwhelming issue of constantly having to battle against tomb raiders and looters. These individuals attempted to sell ancient relics and artefacts to private collectors from around the world, and this would have been done via the underground black market. While exploring various sites on our planet, these researchers have also discovered a variety of anomalies that have created more questions than answers. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be going over three mysterious anomalies discovered from around the world. Our first area of interest begins in northern Mexico, in an area called Chihuahuan. This is a desert that measures around 50 kilometers, or 31 miles in width. It can be found in the Mapini Biosphere Reserve. This is a sparsely populated area that's around 400,000 hectares, or 988,421.5 acres. It's one of the three biosphere reserves in the northern Mexico area. This flat and desolate area has been dubbed the Zone of Silence. This is because all radio channels and frequencies are disrupted, clocks go mad and slow to accrual, or run too fast and compasses spin wildly. The area got its name sometime around 1966, when a national oil company sent a team to see if the area had any oil deposits. The leader of the group, Augusto Harry de la Peña, coined the name after having problems with radio equipment they used to contact HQ. This silent desert is also known for a surprising amount of celestial activity. Throughout the 1900s, several large meteorites landed throughout the zone. The most noted meteorites are those that landed on the exact same ranch, one in 1938 and the other in 1954. The impact of the meteors was so strong that on both occasions it broke windows. While there's no law that meteorites can't strike in the same place twice, it is very improbable. A meteorite has a 1 in 7,000 chance of hitting Earth, and 90 to 95% of meteors don't survive through the entry in Earth's atmosphere. So the fact that two hit in the same area within 16 years of each other sparked a lot of interest in the scientific community. The overabundance of spatial activity doesn't end at meteorites. There have been many reports of travellers, hikers, campers and tourists that have reported seeing fireballs in the sky. Others have got lost in the area and have seen what they described as tall blonde haired aliens that spoke perfect Spanish and when encountered ask only for water before disappearing without a trace. Some members that had encounters with these alleged aliens recall asking them where they were from, with which they only replied, above. These odd alien-like apparitions have been given the nickname the Nordics by quite a few ranchers that populate the area. The zone went on to briefly make headlines on the 11th of July 1970. This was when a US Athena rocket was launched from the Air Force Base in Green River, Utah. The rocket's mission was to study the atmosphere and was planned to come down near White Sands, New Mexico. However, it was pulled massively off course for an unknown reason, and it came down at 2am in the centre of the zone of silence. The rocket proved difficult for the United States to recover. When a recovery team was sent out to search for it, the radar devices the team brought wouldn't work. Many scientists have speculated that the reason that radios and all forms of wireless communications are disrupted might be caused by a massive subterranean deposit of magnemite a ferromagnetic iron oxide that is attracted by all magnets and can be magnetised to become a permanent magnet itself. The theory being that the deposit might be large enough to have been magnetised by the poles of Earth itself. While this theory is slightly plausible and would explain the disruption of signals as wireless signals of various types of electromagnetic radiation and would thoroughly explain the interference to compasses and clocks, it doesn't answer why there's so much celestial activity in this area. Not only this, but the number of UFO sightings and alien reports have only caused more confusion. Theorists have put forward more of their theories. As of today, the location is still shrouded in mystery. Another mysterious anomaly is that of the Eternal Flame Falls. This mystery takes place in Shale Creek Preserve, a small section of Chestnut Ridge Park, an area in western New York, just outside of Orchard Park. 
The Eternal Flame Falls is a relatively small waterfall that consists of two tiers, each between 8 and 13 feet in vertical length. Small creeks with falls like this are a relatively regular occurrence throughout western New York, especially in the areas around the Genesee River. However, what makes this one area so particularly notable is a small enclave that is concaved into the falls. Inside, a small flame can be seen. What's so surprising about this is that the flame burns indefinitely all year round. It seemingly has no fuel source and year after year keeps on burning. This is even through all different types of weather conditions. The flame has however been observed to disappear at points. Sometimes the water rapids will flow over it and put it out. However, a simple touch of a lighter or match will rekindle the flame. So how is this anomaly possible? People were confused at this eternally burning rock in the middle of the water for years. This was until recently when geologists from Indiana University and Italy's National Institute of Geophysics studied the falls in 2013. They revealed that there is a high pressure natural gas seep located under the falls. Inside, they found that the gas emitted by the falls had a higher concentration of ethane and propane than any other known gas seeps. Their study shows them that its pressure emits approximately 1 kilogram of methane per day. They believe that potentially tectonic activity created faults in the rock and shale, allowing the gas to reach the surface under the falls. Whilst the mysteriousness of the falls had been shattered by scientific fact, the increased popularity did prove to be a good thing. Earlier in the same year, the park was planned to be clear-cut and levelled to install a golf course. The discovery of the occurring natural wonder further led the area to be converted into a state-protected preserve. The last anomaly is that of the Fuchsian Lake Pyramid. This mystery is located in Fuxian Lake, which can be found in the Yunnan province of China. This discovery was made back in 2006. Many reports were made by divers and water enthusiasts that would boat on the lake. They claim that the appearances of what seemed to be underwater buildings could be seen. Enough reports were eventually made, and on the 13th of June, a team of archaeological divers decided to search the lake. They discovered the remains of a group of huge ancient buildings at the bottom of the lake. The most noted of them was a vast stone pyramid located in the centre. The archaeologists were stumped on how this massive structure got here completely intact. When they looked back through historical records, they found evidence of an ancient city that was established in the area that is now Lake Fuxian. However, this doesn't close the case on the mysterious pyramid. Yuyon was established in the Western Han Dynasty from 206 BCE to 24 AD and was the capital of the ancient Dian Kingdom. This was stated in the historical records, but the records stopped after the Sui and Tang Dynasty of 589 to 907 AD. The local legends told that the city sank to the bottom of the lake. The historical records that were kept showed that the once capital was made mostly of wood and clay, but the remains that have been found at the bottom of the lake are made entirely of stone. Surveys of the land have revealed that the complex at the bottom of the Fuxian Lake covers 10.8 million square feet. This is far larger than the once capital had ever been. So the mystery remains, why was such a large city left without any remaining trace? What thickens the plot is that the archaeological team went on to found carvings resembling a wearable mask. However, the mask had flat cheeks and indented teeth that don't match the facial characteristics of a human head. Another stone mask was later found that had zeros and ones carved into the design. Some bricks of stones were also found on the buildings that had engravings that were similar in appearance to the Roman numeral 1 and the English letter Y. The question that then arises with this is not so much the unusual carvings themselves, but the fact that if this underwater pyramid is over 1,800 years old, what tools would have been used to make these carvings? As researchers have said that nothing from that time period would have been able to make something so intricately detailed. So what do you make of these mysterious locations? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community 
whilst working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.